AMREF has worked in Southern Africa since 1991. So we've been here for about 22 years, well before South Africa got independence. We came at the invitation of the then um, primary healthcare progressive movement. And they wanted us to help with um, training of middle level health workers for the then National Department of Health and some local NGOs. AMREF is currently in three countries, in South Africa where we've been the longest and also in Malawi and Mozambique. We've only been in, in those two countries since the beginning of this year. Um, in South Africa we are in three provinces, KwaZulu-Natal, Limpopo province and Northwestern province. And in Mozambique, we are in two provinces, Inambana province and Sofala province. In Malawi, we are, have a project in the central region and we are working in Mangochi district. I think that the impact of AMREF's work has been tremendous, particularly at community level. Uh, as you are aware, our vision is uh, lasting health change in Africa. We believe, uh, we would like to see communities that have the knowledge, the skills, and the means to maintain their good health. And through our projects, we've already started seeing this happening. So I think that the impact has really been significant, particularly at community level. We enjoy a very healthy relationship with the governments that we work with in these three countries, as well as with, our, with the other partners. Um, for instance, if I can give an example of our traditional health practitioner project in KwaZulu-Natal province, this is a project where we're trying to strengthen the collaboration between the traditional health practitioners and the first level healthcare workers in the formal health sector. The government, the provincial department of health has been very impressed with the project and uh, in fact they want to scale it up from the two districts where we are currently working to the rest of the province and they've already adopted some of the tools that we have developed for the project which aim at strengthening the referral linkages between the two sectors. Well, you know, AMREF is a civil society organization and like all other civil society organizations we face more or less the same challenges and these are challenges related to funding, um, sustainability of our programs, um, demonstrating the impact of the work that we're doing. I don't think that uh, we're very good at selling ourselves, but the other challenge is uh, coordination. In fact, if you allow me to share, AMREF just recently launched um, a report on uh, the contribution of the civil society organizations. Uh, towards the health sector in Africa. In this publication, uh, we are discussing the challenges, but more importantly, we are also looking at the way forward and at, uh, suggesting solutions for how civil society organizations might be able to uh, address their challenges. Currently, we are in three countries. In the next few years, we hope to move into two or three more countries. Um, we are also wanting to focus on one of the key challenges that the region is facing and that is human resources for health. So we have actually uh, started uh, putting together uh, a proposal where we want to establish an AMREF Southern Africa Regional Training Center. This will be affiliated to the AMREF International Training Center. And I think with this regional training center, we can really help to contribute to uh, improving the skills of the human resources in the region, as well as increasing the numbers of wide range of uh, health professionals in the region. Um, AMREF in Southern Africa is new, but we're very excited about the Southern Africa Regional Training Center that we want to put together, because I think that will be answering to a very needed need. So we're looking for support from individuals, corporate companies, uh, our conventional institutional donors out there to support us in this, because I think we have something to offer. 
if you go anywhere in Southern Africa, and maybe even beyond Southern Africa, people will tell you that they have enjoyed or they've been trained by AMREF. So we have a track record of uh, training health workers, all categories, first level, middle level, doctors, postgraduate. So the new AMREF Southern Africa Regional Training Center is really something that I think will make a difference in terms of addressing the human resource challenge in this region.